Welcome back to What Arty Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a GWE100, the Tier 10 German SPG. It's located on the south spawn of Lakeville Encounter and it's under the command of Marky12 and it's another runner-up in the Arty Day competition. Game's about to start. Okay, it's off. Now, 21 centimeter gun and as you can see here, it does 1100 alpha if it can penetrate 53 millimeters of armor. Now he's moving to the very, very back. I think he's going to go all the way down the edge and fire at the enemy over this lip. It's not a great firing position, this one, because it's so well known. But uh, we'll see how he gets on. Shooting directly up the valley. Okay. And to start with, he's actually aiming towards an FB4005, a ship bomb. We've just nuked a Skoda T50 who came over the rise. Rounds out on the FB. Oh, landed near him. Now, the enemy does have an RT in this game. It's a T92 HMC. So long as uh, Marky keeps changing position, he should be okay. This is one of the easiest maps to do counter battery on because there are very few positions that actually do work for shooting at each other up and down the valley. And most RT do tend to shoot up and down the valley. They don't tend to go elsewhere unless, of course, they're inventive. And if they do, then they go somewhere like the uh, near the city, K9. And he got a hit there on a tank in the town. The Wizzy 111 14, 2, 273 hit points on that tank was in the cap area. Now, can he hit the uh, Wizzy again? Nope, because the Wizzy's pulled north. But there's another Wizzy there. In fact, they've got three tanks inside the cap zone. No, nope, only... Is that two now? No, they've still got three in there. They're putting the pressure on us to get in there. Okay, we're firing blind. Oh, no, we're not going to fire blind because there is a target in there. There's an object 430 and a 257. That Wizzy's not inside the cap, so this isn't going to get a cap reset. But, oh, if he'd fired just then, he would have got one. Rounds out on the STB. That will give a cap reset. Only a little one. And he got some stun assist. I don't, I'm not sure if there was a cap reset, actually. Maybe that STB was one of the late ones that came into the cap. Well, the standard B there, sitting on the corner. I think that's one of the ones who might actually be able to get a cap reset off. And if it's not him, then that Wizzy 120 or the 430. Rounds out on the standard B. And, well, we hit him. But there's no reset. So I think it may be these Type 4 and the Wizzy 120. That have got most of the cap points and the the cap is blocked at the moment i think i'm pretty sure it's blocked by some far guys on the other side yeah that's what's causing the hold up if we put the round in there and we get a full reset this will be very useful for us almost ready to shoot rounds out yes we did get the full reset oh we got two did he get two no, he only got the one kill, but he did get a kill, but he badly damaged one of the enemy tanks. And it looks like the enemy tank destroyers, the Object 268 and 2684, are headed down the valley, and there's only a Super Conk holding them up. And he's face-hugging that 2684 at the moment. The other guys are coming up on him. He really does need this round now. Oh, they're going to surround him. He lets loose on them after they kill the Super Conk. And he gets all three of them. A massive hit, but now he's the last one in line. They're going to be headed south, being very angry for being hit there. 
but the, his team is losing, or well, the enemy team is losing now, they're losing by three tanks, we own the town, and the cap area, and we are capping. Now more than likely one of them is going to come around the corner, but will Marky be loaded in time? Well maybe, he might actually get another chance at another shot, but it'll probably be his last if he does. It's a good position to be in here, because he's right up against the wall, they have to come around that corner to get a shot at him. They are tank destroyers. Oh no, well one of them tried to go around the back and 268 comes around this way. Now run at him, run at him, get past him. Oh, we've been hit. Now we need to get behind him. Don't go at the pointy end. Go at the other end. <laughs> That's it. Drive past him. That's it. Hold him in place. So he can't do anything. Get behind him. And he's trapped. Oh, he can turn us. Out turn us. And he's face hugging us again. He knows. And he's trying to get some ram damage off us as well. And that's the end of the game. But there's only three left on his team. And you can look at the amount of damage on the side of his vehicle. So Marky did get some damage off him at least. And our guys are going in for the kill on those last remaining enemy tanks. Only two enemies left now, that 268 that killed Marky and a Cranbon. And this T110E4 is going to try and finish them off. I think he can get the Cranbon easily. Oh, he fluffed his shot! He fluffed it and gave the Cranbon two chances. And here comes the 268 to put his round in as well. But will he get hit in the side by the Yank Tiger? Remember that thing's got a 128mm gun and oh well, it was the E4 who got him. Now just the cram farm. Oh, he sneaked round and got shot in the rear by a leopard. <laughs> oh, nothing like a bit of surprise but sex in the morning. Okay, let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, it was not a bad game by Marky. He got a, um, a first class tanker out of that game. A bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 14. And he got a Confederate medal as well. Now, that was pretty amazing. Uh, he hit more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. And if we look at team score, well, we can see actually this was the one where he actually got the placeholder. I think this was the one that where he had the highest score. Uh, he did try it again and got a better score. Uh, he didn't get the highest damage. He did get the second highest damage on his team. And the Third, no, fourth highest damage overall in that game, 3,412 hit points. The highest scorer was, in fact, that Object 268 on his own team, 5050. Um, when it came to kills, though, it was the Waffentrager Alpha Panzer Fear, managed to get four kills. And the prototype, the Object 268, and the enemy 268 also got three kills apiece. And uh, I'm afraid Marky only got the one kill. When it came to base XP, he was in third place with 875. The Object 268 got 940 and the Waffentrager 921. He fired seven rounds, got four direct hits, one penetration, eight splash. Damage of 3,412 hit points, of which 2,943 were up more than 300 meters. He received two hits, one penetration, one hit as a result of splash damage. And he also uh, damaged uh, eight of the enemy, killed one of them, and did 2,400 hit points of stun assist of eight stuns. He managed to get 33 defense points with the rounds that he fired into the cap zone to get resets. And on a free to play account, he earned, well, he actually made a loss, 3,096 credits and took away 875 XP. But I'm afraid that base XP of 875 wasn't enough to win the competition. He was pipped at the last post by somebody else, and so he didn't get the top prize. But this is a candidate for the runner up prize, and thanks for watching.